So you, just as a warm up on this thing, this is the Dolne tenor saxophone, the ballet or what they call the artist model. This is from 1957 apparently, or thereabouts in the serial, serial number range. And the funky thing is the serial numbers on this side here, instead of the normal at the back, what you see on other saxophones, it's here. And that's just one of the quirky little features. So I'm going to go through this now. First of all, before I go through the features, I'm going to step back and look at this thing. This thing looks like it's been straight out of a time machine. It looks like it's been in a museum, held in a glass cage, glass box or whatever, for all these years and never touched. This is in stunning condition. Absolutely mint condition. And I'm not saying that lightly. This is probably the most mint condition saxophone I've ever played, especially vintage I mean, apart from brand new ones of course, but this is the most mint condition tenor saxophone or any saxophone I've ever played in my life and I've played hundreds and hundreds. This is a beauty. Now going on these funky features, first of all the noticeable thing is the key guards, look at that. These angular key guards. They're so funky looking, so cool. And I like how they have this, if I try that way there, they go across, then down into here. This one goes straight, of course, but the E flat one also, from my shoulder, there. This funky down and across into the holder here. Also angular are the C and E flat keys. Really cool. The side keys are all rectangular, the same with the palm keys as well, as you see here. This thing is just a stunning looking saxophone. Even the neck strap loop, look at that. Looks like somebody soldered a bolt onto it, but it's not a bolt, it's obviously meant to be like that. It's a stunning saxophone, did I mention that? Anyway, look at the G sharp and the B flat and the B and the C sharp cluster there, the pinky cluster. Now, granted, if you are used to playing brand new modern tenors or whatever, this is going to take a minute or two to get used to, and then once you're used to it, wow, the tone is worth it, the tuning is worth it, everything is worth it about this saxophone. It's a fantastic tenor. And why am I selling it? Simple, because I actually have two. So, I'm moving on this one, which is the one that's in the best condition. I'm keeping the other one because it has scratches and lacquer wear and stuff. It's cosmetic stuff on the other one. I don't care. It still plays great. It plays like this one, and I like it. But anyway, this one is going to be up for grabs. It's a piece of museum history. It's just... Beautiful. Look at the key guard at the back. It even curls around the keys. A lot of key guards kind of stop round about here, but this one continues round. So it's even better so you don't pull on it or it helps guard these as it's meant to do. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to give you a demo. Oh, I forgot to show you the engraving. Look at this. Very elaborate Beautiful engraving, there, hand engraved. 
So, while I drool on this saxophone, because it is a beauty, I'm going to give you a demo of soft, quiet, loud, high, low, the usual range. <laughs> on it. It has a bit of a brighter sounding so, uh, tone, but because it's a large bore as well, you get a big spread sound. <laughs> And yes, I had to change some altissimo fingers, fingerings, but it's absolutely fine. It's beautiful. It's a beast, and it's mine, but it's up for grabs.